Hello Back to the Future fans, this is JAR369. Today I'll be taking a look at the pop movies Back to the Future number 602 Canadian Convention exclusive Marty McFly by Funko. So this is a, a comic, a Canada Expo exclusive and it has the Canadian Convention exclusive. So this is exclusively to um to Canada and I'm really glad they have this like in FYE and I'm really happy that some of the pops from Canadian Expo is are exclusive to are shared with outside of the um of Can Canada but now here it is now take a look at the box here you can see the usual pop box with a back to the future design to it on the side, you get an image of Marty McFly playing with his guitar. And on the back, nothing new, just the same old pops. I did got the um, Dr. Emmett Brown one, but I really wanted to get, like, the the uh, Marty McFly and the DeLorean. Now, th now it's really cost fair expensive. So that's about it for the box. Now let's release Marty McFly out of the box. Here we got Marty McFly out of the package. Now, since they picked this pop from the ending of Back to, of the first Back to the Future movie, which is an awesome iconic scene. I mean, there are plenty of several. There are like three versions of Marty. You get one from the the one that has like the um, you know his iconic outfit. There's like it's the same pop as the single as the the one from the DeLorean, and there's one which is exclusive to the fun exclusive, which is I wish I have. And now this is the um, the normal one. And what I wish I want to see, wish that Funko could make is the Back to the Future Part 3 Marty McFly where he's in his Western outfit in the Back to the Future Part 2 where he wears like a black hat and a black leather jacket. So his face doesn't be recognized by Biff or his, or his, um, his past self. Which is a really interest, which is a really, really good idea for Funko to make, but this is a really an interest, a really iconic outfit from the film. Now take a look at the head, the head there. Now the head is pretty much different, like from the old one. I mean, I like how they captured the looks of Michael J. Fox. I mean, it looks really, really well done. And now take a look at the body here. You can see the little red tie there. You get the little white shirt. Now the vet, now the trench coat there. You get the little black buttons on the sh on each of the um, buttons there, and you get little pockets on the um, on each of the side there. Now the guitar, I say the guitar looks a uh, really well done sculpt. I like how they capture the the sculpting to the guitar, and you get the little wrenches for the guitar if you turn it off, turn them something like that. You get the little black bass, nothing much. You get the little holes there for the guitar. Now nothing much on the pants, just plain black. You get the now look at the shoes. You get the little white paint there, and then where all the shoelaces are. And the bottom. Wait a minute, there's no legal crap. Up. Oh, there's one on the head. Never mind. I thought Funko are done with the legal crap, but nope. They just ruined the figure. But hey, this pop is really still really... It's still really good looking pop. I like how this turns out from the... That one iconic scene from the film. I really love this pop so much. And I absolutely love this pop so much. I said it twice. Because <laughs> I really do love this pop. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos after you subscribe. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both the links will be in the description down below. So that's about it. This is JAR369 and goodbye.